Welcome to Decimals of the Caribbean. This game will help you practice matching written decimals with their numeric counterparts. You play the role of a 17th century pirate looking to steal gold from Spanish treasure ships leaving from Central and South America. Click Start. The first port is Panama City. This is a major Spanish port where silver and gold are brought from the mines of South America. Three treasure ships are docked in the harbor. And I'll show you how to play. Click continue. So here are the three ships. So you see a message come up here. It says 134. You have to blast the ship that reads 134. So let's wait. That's 134. Click. It says, congratulations, you sunk the correct ship, but there are some more. I have three lives here, so I have to do six and three hundredths. So here is six and three hundredths. I click. Pow. You see all the gold and coins cascade into the water. Two and forty-five hundredths. That's the only one left, so I blast that one, and I've made it past the first round. I've plundered the port of Panama City. And right here it says, wonderful, you, shunk, you sunk all the pirate ships. Click continue. Now I earn a code right here. Now, this code is for if I play this game again so I don't have to start all over again, I can enter this code at the beginning of the game and go right to level two. Let's try one more round. Click continue. And your score is based on how quickly it takes you to blast all the ships. The higher your score, the quicker you do it. So now I'm in Portobello. This is a major staging area where gold and silver are brought up from the King's Highway. Sir Henry Morgan once took this port. Now it is your turn. Click Continue. And now there are more ships in the harbor. So I need to blast the one that has three and eight hundredths, and that's right there. Now, there's a time limit. You see this flame here? When the flame flames out at the bottom, that means you run out of time. So make sure that you blast a ship before that flame gets to the bottom. Watch what happens if I don't do it in time. Your flame is up. There's no way you can fire the cannon now. You have to go to a new ship. Well, I lost a life there. I only have two lives left, but I can keep going. Seven and five tenths. So I see 75, 7.5 right there. I blast. It's like I missed. These two are very close together, and I missed again, so I only have one life left. And I got it at the very last try there. That was close. So now I'm looking for six and nine hundredths. And here it is, 6.09. Finally, the last one is four and six tenths, and I blast that ship, and I've sunk all the pirate ships, and I go on to the next round. And you see I get a code. I have one ship left. That's it. And I press continue. And I'd be in Havana. And you'll see every round there are more and more ships. And the place values and the decimals get harder and harder. That's how you play Decimals of the Caribbean. Enjoy it.